Hello guys. So I wanted to get something up with about my um, Graham Farish 37, Class 37 DCC, um, which I've recently had some sound put in it, which is, right, I must say, uh, getting it back and getting um, getting it on the layout and having a little play has, um, has uh, made me think that I should have done it earlier, to be honest, and I'm certainly thinking of getting um, the, the 411 done as well. So this is just a quick video to demo the um, the sounds of the uh, of the loco and have it whiz around and uh, have it in a few places um, just to see what you think. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you like it and it might tempt you into getting your own, getting your yours done as well. Um, there's quite a few functions on there, so I'll just work through work through some of those. Obviously, we had the, the directional lights anyway beforehand, uh, the reds and the whites. Um, but so we've got the direction headlights haven't changed the the start up and shut down. Um, so we, if we if we start her up, and now at the moment the there's very little room in these chassis. So the speaker has um, it's been it's been butchered a bit to get in there and the volume is affected. Um, but it's still, I mean, I'm, I don't know the mic on this cam is not too bad, but it's it's certainly loud, it's loud enough anyway. I don't know what it would be like if in the middle of a of an exhibition hall, but um, I mean, I'm sure you can hear that. Um, so we've got uh, a low air horn. Um, we've got some auxiliary functions for cab lights and something else if you want it but on this one I think you can get smoke on steam lanterns I believe maybe not in N but um, not got cab lights in this we've got a Doppler effect which is when the loco is moving I'll try and get something of that in it I'll, I'll, I'll clip some videos together um, we've got some curved squeal uh, some flange squeal which won't work at this point obviously because we're not moving but they will do We've got some station announcements. Um, we've got two of those. I'm going to fit the other one on. Right, so I've turned that one off as well. They obviously go on a bit longer. But I've got no idea how clear they're coming through on the mic. Certainly, if in the flesh, it's. It sounds just like it's got that sort of static tannoy sound, but it sounds pretty clear. I'm not. I'm almost betting the camera mic isn't going to be picking it up as crisp. Uh, we've got a low air horn. And we've got a couple of noise. Uh, the old classic conductor signal. That's a, uh, a binary one. That, that one is basically on or off, so it doesn't time out. Uh, that's for what I've uh, what I've, so what I've discovered so far, anyway. Uh, we've got a compressor. A Spyrax valve. We turn off the compressor. Or Spyrax valve, maybe that is. Rail clank. That, oh, that one will need to be uh, when we're moving. So I'll try. I'll do that function um, and link it in uh, in a bit. Uh, now there's a there's a shunting mode which is simply reduces the actual speed of the loco. Um, so I'm not going to bother demoing that one to be honest. It's pretty obvious. And we've got a, what is quite cool on this chip is the, or in the sound package is just a general soundscape. Now I went for a, a general, um, uh, like station sounds, so I'll stick that on quickly. Now again, that might not be, you can leave that running and just ticking on the background. It gives you, gives a sort of a nice ambient kind of rustle, hustle and bustle type noise. Again, I don't think on the mic that's gonna be that clear, but um, uh, certainly in the flesh it sounds pretty good. And I'll have to just see when I watch this back how good it does sound. Uh, we've got some more horns. 
quite like that one. Short, low pitch there. We've got a sand, uh, sand noise. That's pouring the old sand in. Uh, now also something else on here. We've got a diesel manual notching up and a diesel notching down. Now that um, is quite cool. It took me it took me uh, a few goes to get get to grips with it. What it does is basically increases the it, from the idle noise that you're hearing now. It basically ups the ups the rev noise on the engine itself, which I'm guessing comes into play when you're just pootling around at a certain speed. If you don't want the uh, the kind of idle um, the idle noise you can up it so it just sounds a bit more as though it's working harder um, which sounds pretty good but uh, so let's let's, uh, let's start moving off off the tracks and start heading around the layout <laughs> 